We've seen IoT botnets used to do a lot of interesting things. Now we're seeing them used to send spam. Uh, talk to us about this botnet that changes your router into an email spanner. Yeah, this one's interesting. So uh, Chihu 360, known Chinese security company, put out a report talking about some port scanning they observed. And actually, we've been observing the same port scanning, port 5431. There's been upticks in scanning on that port for a while now. And we've known there was a vulnerability involving Broadcom uh, devices. We didn't know who was scanning for it. So it turns out they've actually done some research. They actually created their own honeypot, and they found out that not only is there scanning on that port 5431, a successful scan on that port from this, this botnet that's scanning will trigger a scan on port 1900 UDP, which is UPnP. Mm -hmm. And that's where the vulnerability actually lies. So they're using that first port to key off and say, okay, I've recognized this as a vulnerable device, and then following it up with the actual attack. So if, if a certain port is open on the device, it's even sometimes more valuable in determining what kind of device it is than scanning a more generic port. Whoever wrote this botnet's pretty clever and experienced, it seems, because according to uh, Chihu360, the shellcode they're pushing isn't like copied and pasted from anywhere else. And writing shellcode is a relatively difficult thing to do. This is all original shellcode they've written for these, these IoT devices. And once the malware's on the device, it becomes a proxy for the attacker to use to connect to different popular mail services and send spam email, like Bindu mentioned. So this is a pretty sophisticated botnet. It's got about 10, no, it's got 100,000 members of varying different device types. And the blog post actually lists out the devices that they've seen um, from their own fingerprinting of the ones that are participating in the botnet. So another IoT botnet, another interesting take on this. Uh, finally, explanation for who is scanning for this one vulnerable port. It's actually an older vulnerability. Um, I think it was developed, it was found in 2013, but only released in 2017. Yeah, I think so. Um, because whoever found it realized it affected a whole bunch of different devices that had a Broadcom chipset. And that's a lot of different devices. A lot of these devices probably either won't get a patch or people won't realize that there is a patch. So the likelihood is that a lot of them will just stay running. So the upshot is, if you own any of the devices that are on the list from this, this report, it's time to reconsider if you need to use them at all. Maybe you should be uh, going to the manufacturer for a patch, or maybe you should be replacing it with something a little more modern. All in all, this is yet another story of IoT <laughs> security issues, um, and kind of a different twist. I mean, I've seen a lot of these bots being used for DDoS attacks, um, but Spam, uh, uh, proxying for spam is kind of a, a newer, more interesting uh, technique to be used. It's a botnet, you know, it's got plenty of uses. This is just slightly different from what we're used to seeing. Right. So did you, so was it just, I, like what were the just infecting IoT devices or was it, because um, I don't remember exactly the list, because if, is it devices that people will never know is infected, right? So like. Well, things like their, their router. Like yeah. if you've got a, 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 um, a DSL router at home, right. something that's at the very edge of your network, right. you might notice that it's operating slower than usual, right. um, but most people don't have the vantage point on the outside of the router to actually see that communications. Right. Let's be fair, most people don't have the knowledge to tell what, what's that C2 traffic anyway. Right. But it's, it's not something that an, even a casual user would ever under, understand and probably the average IT guy wouldn't bother to look on the outside of the router for the cause right, right. Uh, to, to find out that this thing is, is uh, infected. Um, but it's covering devices from Action Tech, D-Link, uh, TP-Link is another one people would recognize, certain models of Linksys, Zizel, so pretty well known. Again, this is all based off of the Broadcom chips that that's the commonality between them. Yeah, see, like, I don't see how someone at home that has no idea this vulnerabilities out and, and if and if they keep their low levels relatively okay where like it doesn't make the router crash mm -hmm. why would you change why would you update why would you go and, and you don't know it's, it's true. crazy <laughs> i mean i i thank the home viewers who are watching this show who yeah, may actually so. go out and look for it yes. and maybe talk to their neighbors and say hey look we should look list. at this yeah <laughs> but i i'm i'm realistic i understand exactly what uh, number of people are out watching our show as opposed to the walking dead um i don't think we have the, the market penetration to say that people are going to go be checking for this right, so. right so but yeah bindi what do you think 
also think, you know, we've talked about IoT botnets before, but I think something like this, you know, similar to the cameras that we've spoken about before, I think it's yeah, it's the larger impact, right? It's it's gotten not to, not the enterprise as such, but more along the consumers, you know, so the mass of consumers that don't treat their, you know, IoT devices as, you know, uh, carefully as they would treat a computer, for example. I think it's going to that, um, you know, talk that we always give around, you know, security hygiene and security awareness across the board, whether it is your end user or an enterprise user. A tip for the consumers is just to be aware of the devices that they're connecting to the internet. So in this case, unfortunately, you know, look to see if your router is in this list. If it is, see if there's a patch. If there's not, you should get a new one because otherwise you're just vulnerable. I mean, there's no way around it.